All right, guys, this is the final mock of the week until tomorrow's uh, first round mock. Uh, I appreciate you guys checking all these things out. If you've missed any of them, please subscribe so you don't miss any more. We're doing this every single day. This mock right here, seven round mock draft for the Raiders is based on my first round mock, which you can find right over there. There was a trade in that first round mock that is going to be showing up here. So the, the numbers are all messed up. You're gonna wanna be caught up on what exactly happened. But again, this is going to be a continuation of that. With that said, let's get started. With the 25th pick in the first round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Las Vegas Raiders select Joseph Asai, edge rusher, Texas. So again, we're picking at 25 because of a trade that took place. We traded back quite a bit. We picked up an additional third round pick. So pick 65 is now ours. We have two third round picks. Again, if you want more detail, go check that out. But uh, really this just comes down to we need to be better off the edge. I didn't really like all the the pile of offensive weapon in the middle of the first round. So I thought let's move back to the back of the first. A lot more defensive kind of weapons, things that, that make sense for us. And we'll pick up some additional compensation. And I'm excited about uh, getting a sigh in the first round. With the 49th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft second round, the Las Vegas Raiders select Andre Sisco, safety, Syracuse. So this is the second time in a row now the board has just really been kind of garbage for us. Uh, we traded back the first time. We did not this time. We're going to go with Andre Sisco. Um, I think even if Abram kind of wakes up and is the safety that we had hoped he'd be, we still don't have very good safeties. And so we're going to take another swing, an early swing at safety. We, we got to get better there. It just, it, you know, it, it's important to us. It's why we invest as early as we did. And it's just not producing the way that we need it to. So we're going to take Andre Sisco out of Syracuse in the second round. With the 65th pick in the third round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Las Vegas Raiders select Tyler Shelvin, defensive tackle, LSU. Um, big fan of Hurst. Um, I know you guys have loved him for a long time. I kind of came out early and was kind of iffy on you guys need some defensive tackle help. And even his rookie year, it was like, dude, shut up. Hurst is amazing. He still is, and he's getting a lot better, but we still need more, right? We don't have enough off the edge, which is why we got a sigh, and we still need more help on the interior. And Shelvin is mostly a big-bodied run defender type of guy, um, which when you get those kinds of guys in the third round, you got to remember, you can get premier defensive tackles, run defending defensive tackles still in the third round because those guys typically fall, right? Everybody wants the pass rushers early on. So he's going to come in. He's going to be able to help. He's not going to be a premier guy. He's not Hurst. But um, he's going to help us a lot up front, maybe a little bit situationally, but still a fantastic football player. And he's going to help bolster that defensive line, which I do think is important. And I know your GM has talked extensively about how important defensive tackle is, primarily from a pass rush standpoint. But still, he's going to help Hurst get unleashed because this is your double team guy. This is the guy that you got to put two guys on. It's going to free up Hurst quite a bit. With the 81st pick in the third round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Las Vegas Raiders select Cameron McGrone, linebacker, Michigan. This one pains me, man. I, I, you know, when I do the first round mocks, I've had several Raiders fans come out and say, we need linebacker. We need zero chance I'm ever drafting a linebacker in the first round for the Raiders. Not because they're producing. That's suicide for your GM. You guys went out and got the top two free agents last year. The top two free agents at linebacker. If you draft a first round linebacker, your, your GM is begging to be fired. I'm not saying it's not a bad decision, um, but that's that's horrific. You make those kinds of financial decisions and then end up taking one in the first round, no chance. So I'm going to I'm gonna wait <laughs> until our second, third round pick to try to address the linebacker situation and kind of just address it as, look, um, we still need to get younger and we need to get some cheaper options so that we can move on from these guys at some point. Um, I'm not going to address it as though it's a big deficiency, although it has been a massive disappointment. Krakowski hasn't been horrible, although he's nowhere near as good as he was with the Bears, in my opinion. Um, but outside of that, the, the linebacker group just is not very good. So, again, feeling pretty good about what we're doing defensively to get Asai off the edge, who's going to help us not just as a pass rusher, but but a, a solid run defender off the edge. Tyler Shelvin, who's going to help us bulk up up front. And now we got Cameron McGrone, who's hopefully going to help us inside the box as well. So, much more stout up front. With the 113th pick in the fourth round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Las Vegas Raiders select Desmond Ritter, quarterback, Cincinnati. Um, 
look, maybe we're pretty hyped up about Mariota. You know, Tannehill left Miami, went to Tennessee. He found some new life, you know, new system, new scheme. Everything kind of worked out. I don't know. But Peterman's gone, thankfully. No offense to the guy, but good riddance. Ritter's going to come in. He's going to be the number three. He's going to compete to be the number two. And, you know, relatively unlikely, but it's only the fourth round. It's not impossible. He's a very good quarterback. So I know we're probably looking in another direction, and we probably wanted to get a better quarterback than this, but this is not the year. So similar to what I've said about other drafts, this is this is a backup quarterback, which we need, as well as somewhat of a shot across the bow at our quarterback saying, look, we're starting to look. And you need to step it up because after this year, we're 100% moving on. So, um, again, this is an area where I'd love to hear in the comment section your general thoughts about Carr. Um, I, I like Carr, but it's still, it still just feels like one of those things where he's never going to get you over that hump. But, again, let me know in the comment section. Do you want to move way up and get a quarterback? Are you content with Carr? Uh, maybe is this not the year we're going to stack up in the next year? Let me know. But for right now, we're getting Desmond Ritter in the fourth round. With the 149th pick in the fifth round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Las Vegas Raiders select Zion Johnson, offensive guard, Boston College. Um, the amount of 30-year-old offensive linemen we have, it ain't good, man. Um, Incognito, Jackson, Hudson, all in their 30s. Um, at, as of 2021, this draft or whatever, that, it's just not a good formula. And I, listen, Incognito's still a freak. He'll probably be just a madman for a very long time, but we can't just not address it. We've got to get better, and especially when you start looking at the fact of these guys are going to be leaving around the time that we're going to be looking at bringing in a new quarterback that's going to be a starter. We want to make sure that we've got some weapons, we've got a good offensive line, we've got a good defense, and when we get that quarterback, we're plopping them into a situation where we're ready to take off and go to the playoffs. Maybe it's not a Super Bowl year one, probably not a rookie quarterback winning a Super Bowl, but we're, we're coming in hot and heavy, so we got to keep this offensive line stoked up. We can't have this in shambles when we get a new quarterback. With the 179th pick in the sixth round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Las Vegas Raiders select Muhammad Ibrahim, running back, Minnesota. Um, Josh Jacobs is a freak. This isn't about Josh Jacobs. It's about depth. Uh, we need some more depth behind him. We need some more talent behind him. Um, you know, when he goes down, which is going to happen in the NFL, we got to make sure that we got a pretty solid plan B. He's been a great starter for Minnesota for three years. Real good runner, um, you know, 5.4-ish yards per attempt. Um, got a great build. You know, he's not one of those 140-pound, exaggerating, but but scat back types. I mean, he's the kind of guy that when your running back goes down, you can put him in and he can take a pounding. So, um, again, we're, we're just we're kind of taking a swing at a little bit of depth here at uh, Muhammad Ibrahim in the sixth round. Finally, with the 207th pick in the seventh round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Las Vegas Raiders select LeBrian Ray, defensive tackle, Alabama. Um, you know, one of the things I like about defensive tackle is that you can find them in the later rounds. You know, guards, centers, tackles. There's a few positions that, you know, if you're drafting a quarterback or a edge rusher or whatever, you know you're not getting anybody but you got some potential for a guy that can be a rotational player and again Shelvin comes in and he's got a certain dynamic LeBron Ray comes in he's got a certain dynamic we, we need to get better we need a bunch of guys that we can rotate in and out um, and so we've, we've we now have some some depth and, and again I want to get better up front and I'm, I'm going to will that to happen in this draft so again Asai, Shelvin, McGrone, and LeBron Ray are all going to try to help our defense up front Adding in Andre Cisco to help on the back end, as well as McGrone, maybe in coverage. We'll see how that goes. Offensively, really just a backup running back, an offensive guard for the future. Um, Desmond Ritter as a backup quarterback. Um, not a ton of great options offensively in terms of, you know, we obviously prioritize our defense, but um, that's more or less building for the future for those guys. So, Again, leave some comments. Let me know what you think about the seven-round mock draft for the Las Vegas Raiders. Fill up the comment section. It's going to help me a lot for the next time we do a Raiders mock as well as all my other first-round mock drafts, knowing exactly what direction to go for the Raiders. Do you want me to take a swing on one of these other quarterbacks or not? Um, Otherwise, again, like, subscribe, hit the little bell notification so you don't miss any videos. There is a join button down below this video if you'd like to support the work that I do. Uh, I would greatly, greatly appreciate that. Otherwise, have a great day.